Hi YouTube, this is uh, the critique of the Tekton TV's video. I was reading the Bible last night. Really? I didn't know you could read. Uh oh. That's never a good sign. There's an insult five seconds into the video. <laughs> And, uh, this person's a Christian, right? Uh... Read some interesting passages. Good for you. Keeps you from getting bored and committing arson and such. Uh, another insult? Digging it if an atheist doesn't read the Bible, he's gonna go out and commit arson. <laughs> command I give you, love one another as I have loved you, so you must love one another. Duh, uh, good command, I guess, but do they love each other only because it's commanded, or because they want to? Look, you're supposed to react to each of those with a big grin and a contented sigh. Oh, am I? Sorry, let's try again. Every word of God is flawless. He is a shield of those who take refuge in him. Duh. The Bible is far from flawless since modern scientific findings pretty much refute all of it as well as the yeah anyway <laughs> What? Did I not get happy enough? Look, you're supposed to act all happy, but I'm supposed to read a bunch of negative passages and get you all ranting and raving about how it's out of context, cherry picking, and all that. Uh, because generally that is what they do when we give them negative verses. I've uh, debated a lot of Christians, and instead of admitting their book is full of disgusting stuff, they just say it's out of context. Really? Pastor 
just like which ones? Maybe you mean like Leviticus 24.16. And he that blasphemeth the name of the Lord, he shall surely be put to death, and all the congregation shall certainly stone him. <gasps> That's barbaric! This is How can I be part of the word of God? A maniac believing in a god like that. Uh, why is a verse like that in the Bible? A loving God has that? Why don't it say you'll be asked why you blasphemed? Uh, let's be reasonable and work this out. Uh, who was it who was supposed to rant and rave then? You don't care about context? Of course I do. For everything. It doesn't matter what I'm reading. Context is always important. Are you denying that it is? Well, no, I suppose not, but I don't think it really helps much. Let's take Joshua 10, 39, 40, for example. Okay, let's. Well, Joshua had been Moses' apprentice and in fact commanded the first battle after the exodus against the Amalekites and Rephidim. Having successfully spied on Canaan... Hey, hey, I know all of that about what happened before and after in the history recorded in the text. What else can you tell me about the context? The what? Well, for example, why did they go to war against those kings? What were those Canaanite people like? You mean you don't know? Oh, well, I thought you'd say it was because God was protecting the lineage of Jesus that he ordered all those people killed. Eh, that may have been one long-term aspect of the situation. But there's far more to it than that. Duh. How about having Jesus just get poofed onto the earth instead of needing mortal wine? Uh, blah, blah. Putting links to websites is not an answer, so, duh. That's barbaric! This is how can I be part of the word of God? A maniac believing in a god like that. that out of your system now? Think so, yeah. Good. Now let's try a reaction from you to this, shall we? Did you hear about the nation that attacked another nation and killed over 140,000 people, including women and children, at one time? <gasps> That's barbaric! This is has to the word of God! A maniac believing in a god like that. <laughs> Thought you were done with that. Nah, I still had a few wines left. But really, that's a horrible thing that God ordered there. Oh, it wasn't God who did that. I was just talking about how the United States dropped the atomic bomb on Japan to end World War II. But half were killed at once by the blast, and the rest died of radiation over time. You could also make arguments either way about the morality of any war action, such as the bombing of the German city of Dresden. So tell me, in what context is it okay for one nation to do that sort of thing to another, eh? Uh, well, from what I learned, they didn't come to that decision to bomb Japan lightly.
the uh, I like to add the uh, America is not omnipotent or omniscient. God could have snapped his fingers. Got to see the difference there. <laughs> Thank <laughs> you. 